So I finally got some value out of the Pan-Asian Commander, the new special one that was added, I suppose, a patch ago. I've been trying off and on to actually proc some of the buffs that he has, which some of them are actually pretty good. If we get the Combat Scout achievement, we are going to get a 20% better reload on our main guns, which is pretty good on the Yu Yang, considering this ship has been nerfed pretty hard when it comes to main guns. The easier buff, of course, on this special commander is going to be the one to do with torpedoes and the torpedo reload booster. Every time you hit six torpedoes, you get faster torps, you get one more charge of your torpedo reload boost, and it reloads a little bit faster. So that one's going to be a little easier to gain. This is in arms race. We're playing random battles these days, and we happen to get arms race on this one. But I hope that's going to be all right, because I've been having a tough time actually getting this combat scout achievement it is not easy i believe it's requiring you to do 20 25 percent uh spotting damage of the entire enemy team's total hp not counting heals but the big number that appears at the top if you're using this team hp mod you gotta do 20 or 25 percent i'll check at the end when we look at the build for this ship and you have to do 5% of that number in your own damage, just raw damage in itself. There we do get four torps in on Croissen, combined with two that I hit a little bit earlier. Yeah, we do get our upgrade there to our torpedoes and our torpedo reload booster, which is pretty nice considering the torpedo reload booster on the Yu Yang takes forever to come back. Um, I've always really enjoyed the Yu Yang, especially when it first came out, when it was basically just the gearing, but better in every way, <laughs> it had better easier to use smokes for personal farming. The torpedoes, while they weren't quite as long range, having just this no reaction time deep water stuff is just devastating against battleships and cruisers. I really, really enjoyed it. And at the time, the ship had really good DPM. Similar to that of gearing, the ship was smaller in the water, smaller profile, made it harder to hit. It was really, really nice to use. Uh, these days though, it's been a little bit outgunned, of course, and it got nerfed massively when it came to his main guns. You can see how this Daring is almost able to reload twice in the time it takes us to reload once. And he's got better fire chance by about double. So, yeah, we're not going to win gun many gunfights there. Something I should look out for is the Legendary mod, which has been a decent upgrade to the main guns. Um, originally, this ship, of course, was nerfed because it had a radar. Radar plus really good gun power was a little bit oppressive when it came to certain competitive modes. I think that's why it was nerfed in the past at least. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. It's not a ship I really want to play much these days. But now with this torpedo, reload booster, and this special commander, it is definitely worth picking up and playing again. Um, we've done a decent job here. We're trying to support our teammates. That's why I rushed in for that daring. I knew I had quite a bit of team support. So once that daring ran out of smoke, we could take him out. Of course, we've done a decent amount of spotting already, 130k, nearly 100k in our own damage itself. So, yeah, we've, we're trying to carry this game. It is not looking good, as you can see. Um, and actually, just keep an eye out that the enemy team has committed two of their destroyers to the 10 line and the J line for this entire game. That'll be important later. I just want to make a note of that. Uh, as we do manage to take out one of those Ohios, and we finally get the combat scout once we get 164,000 spotting damage and around 120k damage so the achievement is pretty difficult to get i would say i'm surprised i even have this much spotting damage considering the we have carriers in this game um, but playing around the middle of the map here and trying to be the closest one to the enemy ships has netted me quite a bit of spotting damage so now that we have this 20 percent reload keep in mind i am a bit of a torp build here so we're not looking at full dpm yu yang but with this buff, we have around a 2.3 second reload now, with a little bit of AR kicking in as well. So we're about to a normal gearing build with, <laughs> with the reload mods for the guns. Yeah, not the most impressive thing in the world. And I don't know if Combat Scout is really realistic to think about getting on something like the GNAT, right? Where reload would be pretty insane, considering that ship already has decent DPM now that they've buffed it a little bit again. I, this is where I think about the legendary mod for the Yu Yang. That allows us to have a bit more of a reload again. Although, you do have to pay for a legendary upgrade then, or a unique upgrade for research points. And that's not going to be the easiest for everyone. So, I'm not sure what to really make of the Yu Yang these days. I probably will leave this special commander on the Yu Yang, since that does seem to be a reasonable way to get the most value out of this commander. 
Specifically, you should know though, this commander doesn't actually buff your torpedo reload uh, when you get that combat scout. So unlike Halsey, where you do get buffs to your main guns and to your torpedoes, this ship actually doesn't buff your torps, which is a little bit interesting. I'm not sure why that necessarily is. Perhaps it comes down to the Halsey Confederate buff being a little bit too strong. Although in that case, I would say Confederate is a little easier to activate on more ships than the combat scout achievement is. Or it just could come down to that this commander has a separate perk totally dedicated to torpedoes, which buffs again your torpedo speed and that cooldown on the torpedo reload booster and giving you a whole nother charge. Um, this game, of course, we did actually manage to cap the middle circle here, which usually means GG when it comes to this arms race or epicenter style of game mode. Usually the points tick up fast enough, but we've given up so much map control and lost a lot of ships. So they're actually able to push in and stall the cap out. And all I really have left is this one smoke uh, to use to hopefully deal with this Puerto Rico. Of course, he's going to radar, so we have to leave and these torpedoes. That's really all that it comes down to here. Yu Yang is a pretty solid ship, but I don't see it quite having the carry potential like some of the best tier 10 DDs have at this tier. Um, but hey, we have done reasonably well in this match specifically. Even with a carrier in the game, we did manage to avoid a lot of attention just by using, turning our AA off, being pretty stealthy, focusing on our torpedoes, and of course, having these uh, Pan-Asian smokes, which are a bit of an in-between ground between uh, the daring and the gearing style of smokes, allows us to somewhat get away from these bad situations. Unfortunately, I dumped all my torpedoes, and we ended up missing the Puerto Rico, and we don't even hit the Des Moines or the Slava that come through that next channel. So my teammate collapse, teams collapse, and uh, we're forced to just run away and maybe try and deal with this Marceau here at the end. Our HE is not going to do all that much to him since he does saturate pretty quickly. He does have a Sherman, of course, with him as well, so we're just going to die at this point. But this special commander seemed to do pretty all right. I just wonder about this combat scout achievement. It hasn't been in the game for that long. I don't have very many of them. Perhaps the more I think about it, I could activate combat scout a little bit more often, focus on spotting much more, and uh, then trying to do a little bit of damage here and there. We managed to dodge the first set of Marceau Torps, dodge the second set. Although, of course, uh, Sherman Sap is just going to take us out very quickly. <laughs> but hey, we didn't eat the point blank Marceau Torps. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, but unfortunately, we do end up losing this game. But I at least managed to deal with um, this commander and actually managed to use some of the skills. As for the build here, you can see that I have gone for mostly that uh, torpedo focus. But we do have a little bit of main guns here. Um, giving up things like Superintendent. Since traditionally, I haven't actually been able to use most of these consumables. We already get plenty of smokes. And with this Torpedo Reload Booster skill, um, we are getting up to three, of course, once we do activate that, getting six Torp hits, which isn't too hard to do. And the reload is already ridiculously long, even with that 25% reduction that I don't really think that's as necessary. I'd rather focus on uh, some more of this damage. Of course, taking Concealment Expert as well. A full gun build might be interesting on this ship, um, considering that extra 20% we're gonna get for that Combat Scout achievement. I don't know. I can't really see it though as much since it's just so nerfed on its base reload here that it's very difficult to take advantage of that. You have to spend so many points and upgrades and get a special achievement to even match what even a gearing could do, which let's be honest, gearing isn't the best gun both these days. So here, as we can see, I've only actually received four of these combat scout achievements. And again, 20% spotting and 5% damage is the numbers that you need to do it's quite a lot and you got to really focus on that spotting and really get lucky when it comes to certain maps where you can play the middle of the map like i did and manage to spot most of the enemy team and a lot of that spotting damage then came our way but that's gonna do it for this one um unfortunately we didn't end up winning it but a pretty good showcase nonetheless of the new special commander what the Yu Yang can be capable of. These torps are definitely pretty scary. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.